Hello. Good evening, students. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, students? Okay. Okay. Okay, students. Let me see. Okay, students, please you can tour on your webcam. Tour on your webcam, please. I need to see your faces. Okay, students, uh, good evening. How are you today? High five. High five, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. I'm going to start with today's class. And thanks for being on time. Let's see, we're going to start with this one. We're getting a slide presentation here. Uh, module three, we have the topics for today's class. Okay, did you see here? What is the topic? Production of going to. Going to. Production of going to. Yesterday, class, we were talking about. Future, future, did you remember? Be going to, right? Mm. Yes. yes. Very good. Now we are going to see the reduction of be going to. Very good. Ya vamos a ver cómo es eso. Okay. Uh, what is the other topic for today's class? Okay. What is this? Holidays. Holidays. Very good. Holidays. Today we're going to see holidays too. Okay, students. Uh, let me see. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Let me check something. Yeah, good. Okay. We're going to start today class with an activity. What's the activity that we are going to use? Remember that yesterday class we were talking about going to a wheel. Did you remember? Yeah. Yes, very good. Yes. Uh, when we are going to use wheel? When? When? Will, will is possibly yeah. be going to is true. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that's right. That's the idea. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a really nice answer. Okay, remember that will has a lower possibility something happen, right? A lower possibility. And, and a going to has a higher possibility, right? Okay, very good. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, students, let's see. Eh, como ya saben eso, we're gonna start with an activity. Let's check. Okay, we have this. Okay, what do you see on the screen? When we can use will or be going to? As you see here, we're gonna use the verb rain, rain, right? Rain. What is rain? Raining. Lluvia. Llover. Llover. Okay, nice. In this case, you can see a cloud, right? That is raining. Vemos una nubecita que está lloviendo. Entonces, which of this one we are going to use? Will or be going to? Will. Will or be going to? ¿Cuál vamos a utilizar? En ese momento. Going to. <laughs> Ajá. Uh, we're going to. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to, right? Create a sentence. Crea la oración. Vamos a ver cómo quedaría entonces. Today. Ok. Going to. To rain. Going to. Rain. Rain. Going. Going. 
It's going to rain. Okay. Okay, okay very good. Yeah. William, uh, you see, it's missing something. Hace falta algo ahí. La, la oración está genial, pero hace falta un poquito. Today okay. is going Perfect. to rain. To rain. To rain. Uh, very good. Nice. Good job. Okay, in this case, I'm going to continue with rain. Vamos a continuar con el verbo rain. ¿Qué va a pasar aquí? ¿Ven un porcentaje que va a llover? Sí. Sí. Ok, pero es... Mínimo. Mínimo. Very good. Poco. Ok. Es una probabilidad. Una probabilidad. Probability. Yeah. Very good. What we are going to use here? Will or be going to? Will. 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 For example... Today will to rain. Today it will rain. Very good. Okay. Okay, nice. Good job. Thanks. Good job, Lilia. Okay, okay. Uh, we got this one and this one. It is going to rain. If we notice here, uh, it's about to rain. Si notamos, ya está a punto de llover. Casi vemos las gotas ahí. Ok, y en este caso, ¿todavía el sol está? Brillante. Brillante. Sí. Right. So that's why the possibility is lower, right? It will rain today. Today it will rain. Whatever you want. Ok, that's good. Ok, uh, continue with this one. Ok, students, we have the lesson objective for today's class. And at the end of this class, you will be able to learn how to sound natural, na natural when talking about future plans by reducing going to. En esta clase aprenderemos cómo sonar más natural, right? Natural, natural. Eh, reduciendo el going to. Ya vamos a ver cómo funciona eso. Ok. Eh, somebody who helped me to read this second objective for today's class. Okay, help me, raise your hands. You can do it. You have to practice your pronunciation. With this objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the US. Okay, very good. Holidays, what is it? Mother's Day. Okay, holidays. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. Mother's Day, is very nice. Good job. Independence, Independence Day. Independence Day. Good job. Acción de gracias. Okay. Sí. Give, giving, giving Day. Okay. Nice. Good job. Okay. Continue with this. Uh, and remember to turn off the microphone when you don't use it. Right? Okay. Uh, we have the useful sentences. What is useful? Utile. Utile. Okay, nice. Good job. Okay, we have this. I think so. I don't think so. Do you know the answer for what it is in Spanish? I think so. I don't think so. Yo pienso. Okay, more or less. You have the idea? That's good. That's good. What else? <laughs> Okay, okay, don't worry. Uh, continue. Yo creo que sí. Okay, very good, thanks. Yo creo que sí, I think so es, yo creo que sí. Yo creo. I think so. Yo no creo. Eh, yo no. Creo. Yo creo I don't think so. Yes. Yo creo que no. Yo no lo creo así o yo no. Okay, I think so, creo que sí. I don't think so, creo que no. I don't. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I really like these sentences. Uh, these are really useful. Son muy útiles, chicos. You have to learn them. Tienen que aprendérselas. I think so. Creo que sí. Teacher, I think so. Aunque no me quede a veces, but teacher, I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. 
Uh, I agree. What is this one? I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. Very good. I disagree. Desacuerdo. No estoy de acuerdo. Okay, very nice. Good job. And then we're going to uh, finish with this question. How is it going? How's it going? ¿Cómo lo ¿Cómo estás haciendo? Está? ¿O, cómo es? ¿O qué estás haciendo? ¿Cómo vamos? Ok, morale. That's good. You, you have the idea. That's good. Okay, how's it going? It's similar to say how are you, but it's casual, right? Eh, es similar a decir cómo estás, pero uh -huh. cómo están. Ya yeah, es como eh, básicamente se podría traducir como cómo te va. ¿Cómo te va? Okay. Eh, why I bring it to you these questions? Because all the time we say how are you? How are you? Then uh, we can change that uh, question, right? How's it going? How are you? How's it going? It sounds better, right? Are you agree? Estoy de acuerdo. I agree. Okay. I agree. I agree, teacher. Okay, that's good. Okay, student, please repeat after me. I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I don't think so. I don't, I, don't think so. So. I don't think so. How's it going? 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 Como ya tenemos un, algo planeado que va a suceder y tiene más probabilidad que va a suceder. Okay. But los dos demuestran un futuro. ¿Sí? Esto es algo así que pensamos rápido. Eh, por ejemplo, teacher, me estoy ahogando. I'm thirsty. I will buy a drink. Compraré una bebida. Como está en su casa, está en su medida. Es una decisión rápida. Puede que suceda o puede que no. Well, ok, muy bien. Eh, this one, I think it's clear. Así que, I'm going to do it. Con mint going to. Gonna mint gonna. going to. Say gonna. Mint going to. Ok, that's good. Uh, repeat after me, Gona. 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 It, it sounds Gona. funny. Okay. Suena chistoso, pero... Ah. Okay. Going to, all the time when we are going to, going to, we need to put the verb be. Am, is, or are. Right? Yes? Are you agree? Yes. Okay, very good. In this case, students, uh, you can reduce the pronunciation using gonna instead of going to. For example, let me see an example. I am going to the movies. I am going to the movies. Did it mean in Spanish? I'm gonna the movies. Okay, very good. I'm gonna to the movies, right? The movies. The movies, yes. Oh, we omit the, this uh, preposition, right, too. In this case, uh, it's part of going. Vamos a omitir este to que está acá. Yes? Okay? That's good. I'm going to the movies. Very good. Nice. <laughs> okay, what's going to happen in that case? It sounds short, right? Suena corto. Suena más corto que decir going to. Entonces, mm. eh, when we hear, um, let me see how to say this. When we hear, um, how can I say this one? An American speaker, you're going to hear, okay, students, I'm going to start today class. I'm going to start today class. But I am saying, 
students, I am going to start with today's class. I say it like that because we are a beginners. Lo digo de esa forma porque estamos iniciando. But later on, I'm gonna use gonna, right? Okay, that's good, the students. Okay, let me see. We have an example here. Did you remember that yesterday we were discussing this conversation? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What we are yes, going okay. to do here, we're going to practice this conversation by using gonna instead of going to. We have to omit going to and use gonna. Right? Okay. Uh, try to practice this one. Okay. Um, let me see. I need a volunteer who wants to practice with me this conversation using gonna instead of going to. Mm. Okay, Stephanie. And Elmer, do you want to participate? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, uh, with Fredo, very good. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, okay with okay. Fredo and Stephanie. Stephanie, you will be Angie, and with Fredo, you will be Philip. Go ahead and use Bona instead of going to. Go ahead, Stephanie. Okay. Are you gonna do anything exit this week? Okay. Well, I'm gonna to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, 9th Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kay Kayla is gonna to take me out for dining. Nice. Is she gonna to order it okay? Yeah. And the waiters uh, are probably go gonna sing happy birthday to me. It's too embarrassing. Okay, very nice. Good job, student. Really good. I like it. Lo hicieron bastante genial. I have a question. Yeah, tell me, good friend. Eh, el tú no debemos, eh, el tú debemos omitirlo. Solo es gonna do gonna anything. Do. Yeah, sure. Gonna do anything. Okay. Este tú lo vamos a, you gonna, sí. vamos okay. a darle a la neck, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Esto nos hace una, un, una, un, a little stop, right? We say, are you going to do? No, vamos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tenemos que soltarlo de solo con el verbo. Very good. Are you gonna do? Uh, for example, uh, a paper is something like, uh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Es escucha más natural, right? Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, I need uh, another couple. Otra parejita. Okay. Your teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Vivian, very good. Some, uh, which one is the, who is the other participant? Okay, Lilian. Somebody else? Who practice with Lilian? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Vamos. Okay, one will be Angie and the other Felix. Let's start with this. Okay, Fabiola, you're gonna start with. Okay, are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Teacher, perdón que no veo la pantalla, permítame. Okay, okay, hold on please, Fabiola. Gonna do anything else. Yes. I'm going to celebrate. I'm celebrate. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Okay.
Fabiola, you will be Angie, or Miriam, you will be Helen. Okay, teacher. Are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I gonna celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August ninth Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla uh, Donut uh, takes me uh, uh, out for dinner. Nice. Is she gonna uh, order a cake? Yeah. And the waiter are probably go gonna sing happy birthday to me. He's so embarrassing. Embarrassing and a very good job. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, if you see students, uh, when we use gonna, we sound naturally, right? Sonamos más naturales, no tenemos que estar fingiendo ahí, sino que hay un año en el fin de año que es weekend y ya soltamos toda la oración, right? Okay, very good. Eh, somebody else who wants to practice? ¿Alguien más que quiera practicar? Elmer? Okay. Somebody else? Otra pareja. Okay. Me teacher. Okay. Elmer and. Okay. Me. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you in the Angie? Yes. Okay. This yeah. Elmer, you have to say "gonna" instead of "go." Okay. Are you gonna do anything existing this weekend? Very good. Go ahead. Well, I'm go gonna celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday ex exactly? Yeah. It's August night, Sunday. She what are you playing? Uh, well, my friend Kegla uh, gonna take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she gonna uh, order a cake? Okay, good. Yeah. And the waitress are probably uh, gonna sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, very nice, good job, congratulations, students, applause for this couple, good, you did a good Okay, Elmer, four. really good job. Okay, students, uh, now you know already how to use gonna instead of going to. When we use gonna, we omit to and going to, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay? Everything is clear? Yes. Yeah. No questions? No questions? No question, everything is clear. Okay, very good, the student. Everything is clear. Okay, continue with today's class. We have holidays in the U.S. I'm sorry for uh, ultra HD definition in this picture. Mm. <laughs> okay. Holidays in the U.S. Holidays son días festivos in Spanish, right? We have New Year's Day, New Year's Day, right? Okay, este es? Año Nuevo. Great. What about this one? Valentine's Day. Yes, okay. okay, nice. So, uh, what about this one? Independ Independence yeah, Independence. Day. Nice, really good. This one. Mother Halloween. Halloween. Okay. De brujas. Okay, that's good. Sí. Y de acción de gracias. Christmas. Navidad. Navidad. Okay, that, that's good. Okay, students. Uh, we have the date at the bottom of each holiday. For example, January 1st. First, very good. Uh, when is New Year's Day? On 
January 5th. January 5th. Yes, Valentine's Day on February 14th. When? Independence Day. Independence Day, July 4th. July 4th. July 4th. Halloween. Halloween. October 21st. 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 Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving for killing for today is November. November is my December. December. December twenty fifth. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Remember all the time to use TA. It's an interdental sound. TH. Like this. Like fifth. As Alfredo said. Yeah, that's good. Fourth. Fourth. Okay, that's, that's a little sound and uh, no, va a indicar que es un número. Ordinal, right? Ordinal. Very good. Okay, students, what we're going to do right now? Okay, we were talking about going to, going to or gonna do something in the future, right? Or in the past? Future or past? No, future. 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 Now, what you are going to do, you have to take or choose one's holidays. Tienen que elegir one's holidays. Then, you have to create a sentence using going to. Does this holiday going to happen something in the future? For example. Independence Day. Yeah, for example, on January 1st, I'm gonna visit my mother. Yeah. Like this. Algo así como es. ¿Sí? ¿Se comprende? Use only one holidays. Van a elegir un, un día festivo y van a hacer una oración utilizando going to. And the date at the bottom. Y la fecha uh, uh, acá abajo. ¿Sí? Ok, students, you got it? Okay. Teacher, question. Yeah, please tell me. Eh, ¿Vamos a hacer todo el diálogo o solo una oración? Only uh, one. Solo una oración. Okay. Okay. Choose one of, uh, one holidays, only one. Elijan solo un holiday. Luego van a formular una oración con going to. For example, les dije la mía. On January 1st, I'm gonna visit my mother. ¿Qué, qué va a pasar en, en enero, enero? ¿Qué va a pasar conmigo? Visit. Lo voy a visitar. Visit my mother. Very good. Nice. Like this, you're gonna uh, create your sentence, right? Okay, students, ready? ¿Listos? Ready. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me check. Uh, we are going to make a group of two. You have to share your sentence. You're going to have two minutes, right? Two minutes. Okay, go ahead. I set a button that's going to appear on your screen. Okay. Okay, you're gonna share your uh, sentence with your group, right? We have two groups. Okay, go ahead, student, share your sentences, right?
Okay, Flor, did you accept the invitation for the group? Decir ya la oración, dicha. Yep, yep, tell me the sentence, please. Okay. <laughs> eh, I gonna buy candies on October 3rd, um, 3rd, 1st, on okay. uh, 31st. Very good. Okay, very good. Eh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Really good job. <laughs> okay. Tania, do you want to show your sentence? Okay. Okay. October, October 31st, okay. I'm going to visit my friends. Very good job. Nice. You sound good, like a native speaker. Good job. Okay, mm -hmm. Elsie, can you share your uh, sentence? Okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, let's see, students. Um, Flor and Tanya, you can share each other uh, the sentence again. Meanwhile, I'm going to visit the other group. Okay. Sí, sí. Fabricio, ¿cómo, cómo, era la, ¿cómo era Fabricio? Perdón, la, 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 la estructura. La estructura. Sí. Aquí puso, por ejemplo, él puso el, el, el ejemplo de January 1st. Entonces decía el día, January 1st, gonna, y decía visit to the, the mom of my family. Entonces podría ser, in, in Christmas, I gonna visit my family. Yeah, very good. Dicho que está eh, bien aquí la estructura. Yeah, it's okay. Pero yo creo que... Bueno, teacher, ya que está por acá, teacher. no es necesario de los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, podemos poner el día de la cruz. Yeah, sure. sería, you can do it. Que sería uno, uno de acá, no de Estados Unidos. Sí, yeah, sí, yeah, sure. No es para el Valentín. Valentín, de ahí es, es, es internacional. Internacional, sí. Yes, ok, student, you have to share your ideas in your sentence. Don't worry if you make mistakes in order to improve, right? Estamos aquí para aprender, no se preocupen. Vamos, compartan sus sentences. Primero sí, vamos. Ok. Yeah. Teacher, yo no escuché cómo era la estructura, perdón. Ok, 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 Oscar. Eh, you can use the date and then you can describe a plan that you have in the future. For example, uh, on October 31st, I'm gonna buy candies. Right? Pueden utilizarlo así. Primero el mes y luego la estructura de lo que van a hacer en el futuro. Si no quieren utilizarlo así, pueden decir de un solo el plan a futuro. Right? For example, yes. Eh, ¿quiere que, bueno, no sé si fue mala costumbre de nuestro teacher anterior, pero cree que nos ayuda con la estructura en lo que es el chat. Ah, ok, ok. Por that's favor. Y, y aparte de eso, también no quería molestar. Hay yeah. unas diapositivas o, o imágenes que usted pone. Yeah, sure. Y hay vocabulario que nosotros no lo tenemos, o por lo menos yo. No sé si okay. lo podría poner en lo que es el grupo de WhatsApp. Yeah, sure, that's good. O sea, uh, el, el teacher anterior no me lo acostumbró que nos ponía ahí y el día siguiente muchos de nosotros lo que hacíamos era en el rato que teníamos libre estudiarlo, ¿verdad? Ok, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, no problem. Thanks. Ok, okay I'm going to write the... Sí. Ok. Lo que va a ser el futuro. Ahí está, ve. A la fecha, el complemento. Pues que por ahí no dice nada.
por ejemplo, si ponemos el 14 de febrero, o sea, usted pone 14 de febrero, Gona, ¿y qué va a ser ese día? O sea, yeah, va, a ser, va a ser probable que usted salga con su novio o que su esposo lo lleve a cenar. Yeah, usted se quede viendo televisión en la casa. Uh, as you hear, we get the formula, right? We have the date first, if you want, if you want. Si ustedes quieren, pueden poner la fecha primero, si no después. Acá es opcional. On January 1st, that's the date, plus the complement. I am gonna go to the park. Right? Podría ser también. I'm gonna go to the park on January 1st. Right? Well, it's yeah. Yes. Um, on July 26th, I'm gonna celebrate to birthday my daughter. Okay, my daughter's birthday. Very good, good job. Thanks, Stephanie. Like this. Like Stephanie. Like okay, that's good. Okay, students. Share your information, it's clear. Teacher. Yes. Voy a poner la oración en, en el chat y usted me dice si está bien. Okay, okay. that's good, niño. On Christmas, I'm gonna visit my family. Very good. In this case, Lilian, you have to add the verb be. I am gonna, I'm gonna. Aunque no suene, pero en la escritura sí tenemos que agregar the verb be. I'm gonna. I am, entonces. Yes, yes. Very good. Okay. Entonces sería, okay. on Christmas, I am gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna visit my family. Yeah, very good. Okay, okay. That's a good job. Okay, students, share your information. You're gonna have only one minute, two minutes, two minutes more. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, for okay. example, and on days, father. Father's days. Father on day, fathers. Father's day. Father's days. Going. Gonna, gonna, gonna eat. Gonna to celebrate. Gonna, 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 on John um, seven, seven, seventeen, seventeen, correct. Seventeen, seventeen. I gonna celebrate. We are. We gonna. I gonna celebrate in restaurant. Okay, that's good. We are gonna. We gonna. We are gonna celebrate and drink it's, many beers. <laughs> it, Eat hamburguesas, papo fritas. <laughs> okay, student, remember that when you use gonna, you have to, uh, tienen que darle la neck ahí al two. Al two. Es el two. Okay. You're gonna. No más, no más, go to. Yeah, yeah. Gonna. Yeah, solo mm. gonna. Right? Gonna and the verb. Yeah, for example, uh, you can see the chat, in the chat, right? Uh, we got something, some, uh, you know, sentences. On Christmas, I'm gonna visit my family. On Christmas, okay. I'm gonna. It's missing I'm here. But I'm gonna is okay. Uh, it gonna don't need to. You're gonna jump to visit, right? Gonna visit my family. Right? It's clear? Gonna visit. My family. Okay. ¿Ya compartieron sus oraciones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah teacher. Okay, yes, so teacher. We we'll share the sentence. Okay, that's good. Thanks.
Okay, students. We're gonna wait for a minute. Meanwhile, the rest of the students get back. Okay. <clears throat> okay, students, remember that all the time we are going to use gonna instead of going to if you want to speak naturally, right? Si quieren hablar naturalmente, gonna. But when you write on a notebook, on the chat, you can write it well. Going to. Going to Brigitte. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, students, let me see. Okay, here we go. We're gonna continue. We're gonna continue with the slide presentation. We have the holidays. We did this, and then we have the days. Remember how to say this. Remember, we have two ways of saying date. American and British. What's the difference? This one. For example, uh, we say um, in the slide before, we said that January 1st, January 1st. When we use British um, formula, we're going to use this date first, right? 7th March. 7th March. Es el único cambio que van a ver. El día va antes y en americano va el mes primero. De acuerdo. Este es solo como un tips. And when we use dates, don't forget to add on before month. We have to use month on. On. Okay, for example, on January 1st, on February 14th, and so on, right? Okay, this is a tips for you. Este es solo como un tips para ustedes. Okay, very good. Continue with this, students. Okay, we practice already uh, the holidays in the US with the future, be going to and gonna, right? Okay. My example was, I'm going to visit my friends on January 1st. I'm gonna visit my friends on January 1st. We omit to, going to, instead of going, gonna, I'm sorry. Okay, are you clear with this explanation about this? Everything is clear? Everything is clear. Yes, okay. okay, very good. If you, I don't know if you have a question about this uh, reduction form, gonna? No questions? No question. No question. No question. Everything clear. Okay. Good. Everything clear and understand. Okay, yeah. nice. I love like that. Okay, we have this. Let's see the platform. We're gonna watch a video in the fashion part. And then we have a knowledge check. The platform that we have. Ya vieron la plataforma. Yes? Yes, teacher. No, not the chat. Yes, teacher. The platform, remember that the platform. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. La plataforma es para ustedes, chicos. Eh, you can use it as many times as you can. You can practice all the exercises there. Eh, you can watch videos, you know. And then we got a knowledge share, right? Tenemos una parte de verificar el conocimiento aprendido. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's see. Eh, why it is important to enter to the platform? ¿Por qué es importante entrar a la plataforma? Because you have to pass the next level. If you want to pass to the next level, you have to pass all of this. Yes? Yes. One of the advantage is you can do it 
as many times as, as you can. Yeah. Pueden hacerlo tantas veces ustedes. No hay límite. Es okay, that's good. Okay. Wow. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna check the platform right now because we have to watch a video about this class. Okay. Uh, ready? Okay. Ready? Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. We got at this. Good. To enter to the platform Inglés Corporativo, you're going to find this one. Inglés Principiante Module 3, right? Okay. Yes. You click on this, then wait for a while. Then we get five sections. Five sections. This is. Yeah, these sections we're gonna um, study during a month. For example, right now we are in section one. What are you going to do? Or what are you gonna do? Como lo dicen ustedes, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, we got this lesson objective, month and date. We saw already. Ya lo vimos, luego lesson objective. The future will be going to. Conversation, happy birthday. Ya lo vimos también. Okay. But here we got a knowledge check. Este es como un pequeño test de conocimiento. A ver si ustedes han aprendido. Veámoslo rápidamente y les voy a hacer solo uno. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, knowledge check. Here you interview. What are these people going to do? Tienen que escuchar esta entrevista de lo que van a hacer estas personas. Michelle, Kevin, Robert, Jane. What are they gonna do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer ellos? Eh, tenemos que escuchar esa entrevista. Ponemos play, escuchamos y luego contestamos. For example, Michelle is gonna or is going to. ¿A dónde va Michelle? A gym. Gym, gym right? Ok, click on the gym. And so on. Y así sucesivamente. Right? When you finish, right. click on this button, right? Yeah. This button. And check your answer. Ok, you have to do it uh, when you have time. But now we are going to watch this video about reduction of going to. Ok. Let's check this video. Okay. Yes, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Okay, we're going to start again. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going with a friend. Okay, students. Um... Can you see something really important here? Aquí no dicen going to. ¿Qué dicen? Gonna. Gonna, right? It's and sounds naturally. Suenan más naturalmente. Entonces, ahí es cuando nosotros decimos, wow, es que los gringos hablan diferente. Simple y sencillamente, ellos usan unas contracciones por las cuales nosotros muchas veces no comprendemos. Going to, nosotros vamos a decir gonna, right? Okay, continue with the video. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class, which I talked about pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. 
and if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to going to is pronounced. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, once you finish the last video, the better video, you can go to this part, this passions. Here mm -hmm. we have some uh, relevant comments or information. For example, Carlos Herrera add a question and an answer. Are you gonna go to class tonight? No, I'm gonna play Xbox tonight. No se lo recomiendo, mejor vaya a la clase. <laughs> okay, that's good. In this case, you can add um, a comment, right? It can be a question or it can be as a comment. Okay, very good. What you're gonna do, add the pause and write, uh, click on if it is a question or discussion. We have a title, write a title. For example, uh, I don't know what you want to talk about, gym, for example, gym and then talk about the gym. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the gym, right? Okay, like this. And then you yeah. click on this button, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, you can do this as many times as you can, and you can watch the video several times, right? Okay, students, um, hmm. let's go to section one. Okay. Okay. At the end of this week, you have to finish all of this, right? All of this. Because next week, we are going to see section two. Right? Okay, for example, this is simple. Right? No se sorprenden, esto es algo sencillo. No quiero que se vayan a sentir así. Ok, if you see, la mayoría son lesson objectives. Lesson objectives solo tienen el objetivo, así que no se preocupen. Este montón se reduce a la mitad. ¿sí? Eso es todo lo que tiene. You only check the objectives, then you click on next button. Watch the video. If you want, you can add a comment, right? If you don't want, it's okay. You can click on the next uh, class, lesson objective, click on the next video. If you want to write a comment, you can do it. Then we got these important things. Check knowledge, knowledge check. Basically, uh, here we're gonna check our knowledge in the class, right, through the class. Aquí básicamente vamos a verificar si hemos aprendido en la clase. If you get a doubt, you can ask me through WhatsApp eh, during the class. Si tienen una duda, pueden preguntármelo en la clase o through WhatsApp, right? And you have to answer all of these, right? Okay. Eh, everything is clear, students. What you're going to do on the platform? Clear? Let me check everything is clear. Okay, very good. Everything clear and understand. Okay, very good. Really nice. Students, remember that the platform is for you, is designed for you, students. Go and practice as many times as you can. And remember that practice make perfect. Right? O como decimos en español, la práctica hace al... Maestro. Maestro. Very good. If you don't practice, uh, probably you're going to forget some relevant words, right? And I'm going to try to share a slide presentation through WhatsApp if you want to review during the day. It's okay? Okay. 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 okay very good. Oh, great. Okay, students, I don't know if you have a question or a comment about this class. No, everything's clear. Okay. okay, very good, students. 
Mm. Okay, uh, unfortunately, you know, time is over. Um, I don't know what happened, with, but time is cortito, cortito. Uh, time is over. That's it for today's class. I don't know if you have a question. Oh, that's it. Question. Okay, tell me. Any question? Ciao, teacher. Yeah. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Please be on time. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye, sure.